We all know classic basketball cards are hot right now, but the excitement is spilling over to other classic sports cards as well. Today, five of the hottest classic sports cards out there, plus a strategy for how you can take advantage of the current market condition. My name is Jeff Wilson. By day, I invest in tech companies. And at night, I invest in sports cards. Join me on my journey to profit from the hobby we all love. card investors and welcome to another episode. I am fired up today. I just got to watch that 1997 Bulls documentary, The Last Dance Sunday Night. I'm sure many of you did as well. Man, it was great to see Michael Jordan and those Bulls teams back on my television. I'm getting into that documentary. I mean, there's not a lot of other sports to get into right now, but even if there were, that would be a great show to watch regardless of when they released it. But I'm really happy they released it right now. I had a lot of fun Sunday night watching that with members of my Discord group. There were several of us chatting throughout the documentary. I also did a live tweet along where I was tweeting about the documentary. I am super excited about the 1997 Bulls documentary starting Sunday night, and I'm going to do a live watch along on Twitter. Follow me at SportsCardINV and tweet with me Sunday night. Thank you for those of you who joined me for that. I had a lot of fun. I hope you had fun watching it as well. And it got me thinking, is the hype of this nostalgia that we're all feeling right now as we're watching Jordan and we're thinking about the classic Bulls teams, is that nostalgia for that 1980s and 1990s sports era spilling over to the card prices of other players? We know it's already spilling over to the price of other players of the Bulls and even other classic basketball players, but is it going to other sports as well? And the answer is yes. I've got some interesting data to show you today, as well as an investment tip for how you can take advantage of some of what is happening. But first, have you nominated a local card shop for our Sports Card Investor 2020 Card Shop of the Year competition? You can do that by going to my website, sportscardinvestor.com, scrolling down and finding the article that talks about the local card shop of the year competition 2020. Click on the article and it gives you all of the instructions for how to nominate a local card shop. Many of these card shops across the country have had to temporarily close the doors to their brick and mortar stores due to everything happening in the world right now. So one way we can show them support is by nominating them for our contest. So please go to my website, sportscardinvestor.com and nominate a sports card shop who matters to you. All right, let's take a look at some of these classic guys. The number one guy, the number one guy who I think has benefited the most from the, the all the aura of the Bulls documentary over in the sport of baseball, I want you to think about who is the biggest baseball player in the 1990s. Who was the baseball equivalent, perhaps, of Michael Jordan when all of that stuff was going on with Michael Jordan, Chicago Bulls teams? Who was over there in baseball getting a lot of the attention? Not, not the championships, but a lot of the amazing play and a lot of the attention. I'm, of course, talking about the great Ken Griffey Jr. And let's have a look at Ken Griffey Jr.'s iconic upper deck card price, the 1989 upper deck PSA 10, Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. Look at this thing in recent days. This thing has gone from $849 less than a week ago. It is now up to $1,489. This card is on absolute fire. And this is a card that, by the way, if you want to go back to the end of March, you could have bought this card for $603 at the end of March. And you'd be selling that card today, less than a month later, for $1,489. This card is up 116% over the last 90 days. Uh, this card has been on an incredible tear. And I honestly think this rise that we've seen in the last week, this super sharp rise, is due to people who are thinking about Jordan and they're thinking about the 1990s and they're thinking about sports. And they're thinking about who those icons are in the other sports. And one of those icons is Ken Griffey Jr. Now, here's an investing tip. I'm going to do you guys a solid today and give you a little bit of an investing tip here. Um, 
oftentimes I have found in my data through, this is my market movers data tool, that when you have a player who starts to get hot, typically one of his cards, often his kind of most iconic card or maybe most chased after card, uh, starts to move. But oftentimes the other cards, it takes them a little while to catch up. They do move, but it takes them a little while to catch up. So you see the trendsetter card. And we're seeing that right now with Ken Griffey Jr. with this upper deck. I want you to take a look at this. This is my price movements by player over the last seven days from my Market Movers data tool. And I'm going to look at Ken Griffey Jr. And I want you to look at this. In the last seven days, his upper deck from 89, PSA 10, has increased 64%. But his FLIR from 89, PSA 10, has only increased 16%. And his Donruss from 89 PSA 10 has only increased 5%. They haven't caught up yet. I think, I predict that we're going to see his Fleer and his Donruss start to move in the same direction. And let me show you this, because this is another really cool way of looking at this. So first of all, let me go into the chart of his Fleer. So now we're going to look at his Fleer, which you can see his Fleer has gone up a little bit in the last few days, like his upper deck has, but it has not had the same level of jump. The percentage increase has certainly been a lot less than what the upper deck has been. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to look, first of all, so his FLIR has been at $93. That is, that is what it has been. That's the ending average on this graph is $93, $94. So if I wanted to go try to find this FLIR card, and see if I can, you know, buy some of these up in anticipation that, you know, the market's going to move that way. I'm going to click this link. This will take me over to eBay. And I want to show you, I'm going to go right now over to the buy it now tab. Now that I'm over here and look at what some of these are selling for, right? You can pick some up for $108. Um, you can pick up, look at that one, $89. That one is actually below market right now, $89. This card has been selling in the nineties for the past few days. And this right now on eBay is $89. And honestly, I think that is one heck of a steal at $89 because I expect this card and probably his Donruss as well to follow a similar pattern of his upper deck and start, and start to go up and up and push upwards like that. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy one of these, but I'm gonna leave the rest out there in case you guys wanna go grab some of these. I don't own these cards, so I'm not doing this to pump the market for my own gain because I don't own them. I'm gonna go buy one because I wanna own one of these cards, but if you guys wanna go buy some of these cards, I think it's a pretty decent card to go buy, probably the Fleer and the Donruss, if you can get good prices on them. And of course, if you are a user of my Market Movers tool, it will show you exactly what a good price is and what, a, what not a good price is. And by the way, I'm going to offer a special promotion right now. If any of you would like to try the Market Movers tool out, if you feel like now is a good time to be buying sports cards, which I personally really think it is, uh, and you want to go hunt around for deals on Ken Griffey Jr. or whomever, like I just showed you how you could do, use promo code JORDAN, promo code JORDAN, and I'm going to give you 20% off your first month. So my Market Movers data tool, it's normally 49 bucks. I'm going to give you 20% off your first month. Or if you want to sign up for the year, You'll also get 20% off the year of market movers if you use promo code Jordan. So consider doing that. Go sign up right now if you'd like to do that to find, you know, to find deals like that. The annual plan, by the way, is already 20% discounted. So you get an extra 20% if you use promo code Jordan. And to sign up for that, you go to my website, sportscardinvestor.com, click on the membership link in the main menu bar. Okay, let's keep going. Let's talk about the next guy. So I want to go to another classic sports guy. I'm thinking Chicago sports, and now I'm thinking a little bit football. Chicago sports football, and let's look at the great Walter Payton. What has Walter Payton been doing? Well, he's been going up a bit. His curve is a, is a little less specific, and you can see there's a lot of volatility. I'm looking at his uh, PSA 8 from 1976, his 1976 rookie in PSA 8. But here's what caught my eye. This most recent sale that happened just the other day, this was an auction. So he had a card that went for auction at $501. And this is coming off the back of some of this card routinely selling for about $450 for several days in a row, dipping down to $420 and, and then going up to $501 at an auction. 
um, on the same at the same time the documentary aired about Jordan. So I wonder if there's a little bit of correlation there. And that's a that's pretty much a high point for this card, other than this one kind of freakishly high sale which occurred. And the reason why that one was so high is that card had particularly good eye appeal. Um, but most of these cards, you know, you can see an overall trend line going up with Payton. It's not clear yet, but I'm curious to see if a guy like Payton in the days ahead is going to see the same type of bump that, um, you know, that uh, uh, some classic players from other sports like Ken Griffey Jr. have seen. He, of course, has the Chicago Association. So it'll be interesting to see what Payton does. Not as many of these cards on the market, but when they come on the market, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Let's look at another football player from just slightly after the Jordan era, but certainly someone who was very relevant as of that time. And I'm talking about Peyton Manning. And Peyton Manning is a guy who has seen his cards go up considerably over the last 90 days. And we've seen some record prices recently. In fact, these were selling the last sales of these were at record prices compared to what we uh, compared to any sale of these cards we've ever seen before. I'm looking at his Bowman Chrome 1998 in PSA 10. And the last sale that I have of this one a few days ago was $237. There were sales of it, it was uh, this card's bounced around a lot. It was 145 just shortly before that, but then 229 a few days before that. Uh, but the overall trend line is very positive. This is a card that was around $112, $125, $127 if we go back to February. And here we are in April, and this card is uh, up in the neighborhood of $237. It's going to be interesting to see with players like this, whether it's Peyton Manning or Tom Brady or Walter Payton or any of these types of classic players, how their cards are affected by this kind of nostalgia that's happening right now over classic sports cards. Um, we have absolutely seen this effect in the sport of basketball. And it's not just the guys who played with the Bulls, even though we have absolutely seen it with Jordan and Pippen and Rodman and some of the other guys of that era who weren't even on the Bulls, like Carl Malone, you know, and John Stockton, their cards have gone up and up and up. Uh, but there's players from other eras of the NBA who were seeing the rise as well. One example is Allen Iverson. Look at Allen Iverson's cards. And there is there is absolutely a correlation uh, between basketball, you know, basketball nostalgia uh, with the Bulls teams and it affecting Allen Iverson. Because look at this. I mean, there's no question that a card that you could have bought for a hundred bucks uh, back on April the 5th is just sold for $199. It, it's doubled over the course of two weeks. Um, just like many of Jordan's cards have doubled or more over the course of two weeks. This is his, um, this is Allen Iverson's top basketball 1996 in PSA 10. And over the course of the last 90 days, this card is up actually 400%. He's actually the biggest gainer because we had, if you go back 90 days ago, we had some really low sales, $43 and $40 and another one at $41, right, right there, you know, 90 days ago. And all of a sudden our most recent sale is $199. Maybe that sale's a little bit high for the market, but but I mean we you know we had a sale of $170, 150, 149. So the overall trajectory is clearly a high trajectory for Allen Iverson. And that brings me to my fifth and final guy in this top five, a guy who I've talked about before, a recent Hall of Famer from again a little bit of a different era than Jordan, uh, but a guy who has been absolutely on fire, finally getting the respect that is due to him. And I'm talking about no other than Tim Duncan. And this is Tim Duncan's Topps Chrome Basketball 1997 PSA 10 card. And again, look at this little spike, which has occurred as we ran up to the Jordan documentary here. We're seeing this card just hit an all-time record point of $647. This was a card that was all the way down at $224 90 days ago. Uh, this card is up 188%, a $422 change over the course of this graph. Uh, so his cards have really, really gone wild. And, and it's, it's been, uh, and this run up, you know, especially in recent days here, absolutely has to be attributed 
to the Jordan documentary, just the nostalgia people are feeling in general about classic cards across all sports. And that's what I think is really interesting. You know, during this time when people are, they're, they're home and they're reminiscing and, they're, and they don't have new sports to watch on TV, so they're starting to think about stars of the fat past. And they're starting to think about Hall of Famers and they're starting to think about all of that thing. It's really interesting to see how that has affected some of these card prices. Hey, thank you for joining me on this journey today. As a reminder, please go and nominate a local card shop by going to sportscardinvestor.com and scrolling down to that article about local card shops. And also while you're there, check out my membership program. Again, promo code Jordan for 20% off your first month or your first year if you wanna pay annually of my Market Movers Data Tool. Click on the membership link in the main menu bar. Thank you so much for watching. See you back in a couple of days for my next episode.